Holy shit, dude. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. My Pokemon love has been like this lately. Kind of stagnant, roller coaster esque The damn car play! Anyways, if this doesn't bring my entire love back, which, spoiler alert, it did, I don't know what will. Nothing else will. So I went to the car shop. I haven't been able to go lately, just been busy. So when I was making videos for you guys, I would just go to like, you know, Meyer, Walmart, whatever, get some Pokemon cards. Boring! Now the booster box video for sure was from the card shop and a lot of stuff we got during that one. But like the last week or two, I've been feeling kind of crummy. No wonder, cause I didn't go to the card shop. Duh. That's the whole point. But I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. It's a little of everything, not just Pokemon. It, you'll see. I got four. I thought I got three, but I got four, which I don't mind. It's $1.50 each. That's what, six bucks, something like that. We got a Leaf Energy, Poochiana. We got Wiglet, Arbok. Uh, C dot. Uh, what is it? Oh, Mudsdale. There might be something in the back. I think so. Maybe. Who knows? Explorer's guidance. I keep getting tricked by the hollows. It pisses me off. Uh, Colossal. We got Deerling, Skitty, and Mischievous. See, I see. It looks. It always looks dark, and then it just ends up being the hollow pattern on the side. I always think it's like a full art or something. That's all right. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I have an insane amount of singles. I'm gonna go through them right now, and then if they need to be put in a clear sleeve, I'll just do it now. But uh, here we go. Uh, this was 92 worth, and I know one of the people that works at the card shop gave me a couple freebies when it came to some of the cheaper cards. So shout out to them. Thank you. Um, first of all, they had the box I was just talking about. The insane amount of bulk. It was there was one side which was mostly hits. It could be like V's, V stars, whatever. And then there was two that were like just bulk. So old, somewhat newer, whatever. So along it, I found a crap ton of the cards I needed. That's slow poke from, um, I'm not sure what set, but somewhere around 1995 to 2000. We got a slow king card. I think fairly recent, but I didn't have it. 2017. I still didn't have it. Sorry, I'll show them off a little bit better. There's that. Hold on. Here's the slow poke. And some of these are in like amazing condition for how old they are. I'll put those aside to get put into sleeves. Um, then we got a ditto pretending to be Charmander from Delta Species. It's got a little bit of wear on the back for sure, but not bad. I think it knocked down the price for me. We have a Dialga, I think either promo or just card from Platinum, which is really, really cool. Oh, it's got the star next to the 16 and 106, so maybe promo, I would assume, because they used to always call them Black Star promos. Um, then we have a Jirachi. This for sure is a promo. I don't know from what, sadly. Um, if you guys know any of this information, if I ever say something and I don't know, please put it in the comments. It helps the people that watch these videos. Then we got a Garatina from Platinum 2. I didn't find a Palkio, but those two, I was like, if they're not insanely expensive, I have to get. And then let me put these aside, because this is going to be the first one I make sure to put in a sleeve ahead of time. We have an ancient Mew, which it's got, you can see the little bit of folding or whatever, but these cards are usually absolutely tore to shreds. And I didn't know, but I think they gave them with the VHS tapes. I could be wrong, but I know they gave them out as promos at the theaters. So uh, the people working there were joking. They're like, Though, you know, those kids just probably shoved it in their pockets to watch the movie and then brought it with them out, whatever. Um, so I was laughing, but that one's in more decent condition than I've ever seen in ancient Mew. Um, when I was in school, we used to trade on the bus all the time, and I had an ancient Mew at one point, but that thing was, like, torn to shreds. Like, I was surprised it was holding its structure. Then we got a Galarian Slowpoke, the one I don't have. I have the promo one where it's with Venipede and another Pokemon. I'm not sure. That one is from 2021. This one's from 2018, like, about to eat its own tail. It's so hungry. Um, then we have a Team Rocket Slowpoke, or from Rocket Returns, or whatever the set is. Very, very cool. Um, I was happy going through this because I just found Slowpoke after Slowpoke and Slow Kings. We got Sabrina's I, very, very decent condition for how old this card is. One day, maybe I'll get all these graded or at least I'll have them in my collection. We got a Slowpoke uh, from 2004, a year after I was born in excellent, like amazing condition. Um, we got a dark Slow King and me and the guy who was working, they were laughing. The, some of the arts are so goofy looking, especially for that one. And I told him, I was like, you got to see the alt art, uh, Slow King for uh, Chilling Rain, maybe. Uh, it looks really funny, too. Then we got another Slow Poke. This is from 2005. And then this one I already have, but I made sure to get another because I haven't seen it in the card shop since. We got the Slow Poke uh, Art Rare, which is really, really cool. And then we have two cards that are either going to be the intro to this video or next. Uh, I'm really excited to show them. 
We got Erica's Invitation, the hard to get one with a nice Charizard sleeve. And then, and then, <laughs> we got the Wigglytuff Full Art EX. That is my 151 set done. All the reverse hollows, all the uh, poles, everything. Also, also, it keeps getting better. I promise. You. Well, these these are are probably already topped by the, some of the stuff in there. I just mean there's more and more in different types. We got Pikachu, the black and gold. These are, I believe, hard to get. I think this one was Lost Origins. I've never pulled it. Um, and these were all around five bucks. I think one of them, one of them was either two or something. It was supposed to be fifteen or twelve, and he gave it to me at ten. So really cool. We got a Rayquaza V Max. Look how cool that looks. I don't know if people don't like the aesthetic. Or I think he said they were getting out of rotation soon too, but still. And then we got the Urshifu. That was probably the cheaper of the uh, three because obviously it's Urshifu. I think it was good in Pokemon TCG though. I could be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And then we got a shiny Ditto VMAX. I don't know what set this is from. I didn't know this was a thing, so it was really cool to see. Um, I pulled out, they had a, just a normal Ditto VMAX in there too, just one of them. And I was showing him, I was like, I didn't even know they made a Ditto VMAX. And then sure enough, I found the shiny one, so I got that too. Um but insane amount of singles and then i still have more stuff now i don't remember if there's anything else pokemon related but just wait till you see this stuff all right so i've been trying to get more and more into comic books um when it comes to like the single issues or volumes you know what i mean those i can read through super quick the only one that's taken me more than a day is the superman year zero or one but it's just when i've like sat down to read it i don't have an extended time to do it i've been doing like 20 30 minutes here and there or something so first one we got uh green lantern emerald warriors this is volume 11 okay i'll put that up top i just don't want them to get all folded or something because my car is kind of designed weird we're up top is kind of like whatever um then we got green lantern emerald warriors this is 10 we got a, I think, Red Lantern, Guy Gardner, a Yellow Hell, a Blue Kyle, and a uh, Purple John Stewart, I believe. Amazing cover, by the way. I still really want this DC Multiverse figure of Kyle Rayner so bad. And one of these days, I will get it. Um, then we have Green Lantern, Emerald Warriors. This is number two. And it has something on the front. It just says 2010 to 11. I'll take off the sticky note. I already told you guys what it says, so... It's not going to be some real cool mystery to solve. Um, this has a red lantern on it. And I think this is Guy Gardner too, just getting like beat up. But to succumb to the rage. So that's probably how he ends up being the uh, red lantern. Um, we have Green Lantern, two against a thousand. It's Sinestro and Hell Jordan. The covers are amazing. Akadia used to ask, oh, and they have all the yellow lanterns down here, by the way. Akadia used to ask, she's like, do you buy them for the covers or to read? And I was like, trust, to read. It's just, I need to find the time. Um, then we have Green Lantern, uh, Powerless, and On the Run. I don't know if this comes after the Against a Thousand. That's volume five. This is eight, so it must. These are all um, the purple lanterns in the background, if you can see. There is uh, the main girl. I can't remember her name for a reason. Oh, wow. I can't remember if it's something in her language or just indigo or what. I can't remember her name. Please tell me down in the comments. I know the blue is St. Walker, and then there's Sinestro and Parallax, and there's Atrocitus, and then there's Larflees. I know, like, all the other ones. I just don't know her for some reason. Um, I think that's Simon Boz or Baez or something. This is Green Lantern, uh, Volume 14, Rise of the Third Arms. I don't know. I think the last couple are in the same line, but I could be wrong because it's New 52 at the least. Then we have Green Lantern, the New 52, Trapped on the Land of Death, which has just a wild cover. It's like all zombies and then some rainbow guy. Very cool. Again, Hal Jordan and Sinestro. This is volume 18. It says Wrath of the First Lantern, part five. So I think that's either... Ooh. I'm trying to remember. The whole reason I buy these is to get educated, but I'll like listen to the stories on YouTube. Um, try to explain it. So that's either the one that becomes the omega one or pair i don't know i'm not even gonna try i'm not even gonna try we have green lantern the new 52 volume 21 i love how this was around the time man of steel was coming out so it was like hey man of steel in theaters uh in imax june 14th 2013 i didn't know it's been that long it's been over 10 years this cover i loved it's just star sapphire punching hell jordan um i have to make a video i want to make a channel for Oh, uh, what do you call it? Like going over maybe comic books and movies and that stuff and like critiquing it or something. Because I used to have a TikTok called Core Critiques and I would kind of talk about the manga I was reading and the different stuff. So I kind of want to do that again. Then we have Green Lantern, just self-titled. I don't know 
um, what this is for, but it says a variant Neil Adams cover. So somebody else did an alternate cover with uh, Hal Jordan and John Stewart. And we have Rise of the Third Army Prologue. This is Green Lantern the New 52 Volume 1. So I at least have some that are the same lines. I just have to get the ones uh, in between what I have. And then I have two I made sure to get today. Um, I've been very, very interested by the Court of Owls. So if you can already guess, some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. Others are right on the trail. We have um, Batman Volume 1, The Court of Owls. Okay. The Court of Owls is like a um, an underground like cult or like a organization, like pulling the strings of Gotham. They're the ones that are like doing the dirty work or like an Illuminati type, right? New World Order, whatever you want to call them. Then we have Batman Volume 2. This is the City of Owls. So it's the continuation. At least these two, I can read one after another, which is really nice. The rest, I don't know how I'll have to read them, but at least I can read them and maybe go back and brush up on my knowledge or figure out what was left out in the story or whatever. But um, that's it. I had a amazing day. Like I'm in there, I'm talking to them. I'm just having a good time. I promise you guys, I'm not trying to be preachy or uh, promoting, but if you can find the right local card shop, it is worth a million dollars, literally. And <laughs> eventually you'll probably spend that much there. Um, But I always try to keep uh, kind of an eye on my spending and be good, but they have so much good stuff that I'm constantly like, I want that. I want that. I want that. And not just want, 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 like this is something I love. And they constantly have so much stock at the one I go to. And it's so cool. I mean, the black and gold cards in my head, I'm like, those are probably 10, 15, 20 each or more. Cause I think they're rare. I've never pulled them. Nope. Five, like five bucks each. And they even gave me a discount. There was multiple free slow pokes they threw in. They had slow King cards. They had the ancient Mew. They had old platinum cards. They had comic books I wanted. Um, and they had them sorted by the green lantern stuff and whatever. So I'm going to constantly keep going back there to get the other stuff. I'll try to hold off on the volumes that maybe I can't read after that. Like I might read the green lantern, the first volume, and then these Batman ones, and then just go back and, um, uh, I guess read what I need to or even read online and then continue from there like physical and digital and whatever you guys know what I mean um but genuinely huge thank you to them I don't know if they'll ever watch these videos or if they'll ever see this particular one but thank you um I also want to say I absolutely love a lot of this stuff it's brought passion back not just the card shop but the specific stuff I'm doing because it's so fun to do I mean reading comic books again i haven't read comic books since i was a kid and i read maybe a couple uh collecting pokemon cards i've gotten so into it where i finished my first set um the single cards too they bring out something in me where it's like you can't just go back and open those old sets and even if you can how many times before you get the cards you want so for them to have it and keep stocked up as well as they do huge shout out and they're always very nice to me like um the one i always talk to there's the like co-owner or son of the owner i'm really cool with him but the one i'm especially cool with is one of his friends or one of the other ones working there and like he noticed i hadn't been there in a while not like a, oh we're not getting money from him at the moment anymore but like he noticed i was like oh man i miss this place it's been like a week or two since i've been here and he's like yeah i noticed i was like where's he been and i was like that's so cool um just it's really there's there's certain things in the hobbies where if somebody explains them to you you can be like i see exactly why you do that so whatever hobby you guys are into get very deep into it get very passionate about it if it's something you really like and just enjoy it man that's all i gotta say this stuff is just amazing I'm, I'm very happy today it brought back a lot for me so expect a bunch of pokemon videos again soon i'm sorry i'm not opening a bunch of stuff but this is like one of my peak like enjoyments and i'm just i'm just happy to be here um thank you guys again for watching i think that's it i was gonna get dc multiverse stuff i'll probably check target if they have stuff be ready because this already might somehow get topped but i'm not counting on it uh, I'm just happy with this. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good day.